This is Hillary, age seven. This is Richard, age eight. This is Shalu, age seven. This is David, age seven. These children and others like them will try to make you understand what they're talking about on Child's Play. And here is the host of Child's Play. Thank you, you very lovely bunch of people there, and welcome to Child's Play, a game for grown-ups. Well, by golly, let's say hello to this returning champion who won it a couple of days ago. Then yesterday she piled some big money on, and right now she has $6,200, courtesy of us, ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Mills. Welcome back, Lisa. Big doings. Big doings at your house last night after the big win? Big doings. Popping the champagne, yeah. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Well, you're still here and one continues to play as long as one is eligible for the five uh, show limit, as you know. Let us say hello to a very, hey, that's a good looking challenger we have. Is your husband yeah. jealous? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to check. <laughs> let, let us make welcome Craig Rooks. Welcome, Thank Craig. Thank you. That's right. Might, might as well, Craig. I learned that a long time ago. What would you like us to know about you, Craig? Nothing. No. Well, what are, what are you prepared then to tell us instead? No, I live down in Laguna Hills. I sell surgical supplies to hospitals, and uh -huh. I'm also a sales trainer. Uh -huh. I have a son who's eight years old, Travis, and I'm really proud of him. I bet and that's right. most of my life right there. That's good enough for me. We know a little bit about both of you. And if you're all set, let's get to child's play. As you know by now, we aimed our cameras at children who are five to nine years of age, and we asked them to interpret some everyday words for us. Your job will be to guess those words. We'll start the guessing with you, Lisa. First, let's uh, show the word that you're going to be guessing for uh, to the, our audience right here. There, there's the word. Okay, now, ready to go. You've watched carefully. Here's Shalu Larios. Shalu Larios is seven years old. She's from Los Angeles, and here's the way she describes that word. Yes, my dad says, boy, I want to just do stuff like that. She jumps up and jumps up and... She films and she's like um, a girl that um, just has um, like Superman, but but a girl. And um, um, she saves people from places. And my mom's my dad says I wanna have her for my girlfriend. <laughs> I like it. And I say, be quiet, Dad, because you already got one and you're gonna have her. <laughs> he said, he says, boy, I <laughs> And I say, then why do you marry her? Well, I didn't know her today, or the day we got married. And she just jumps up and jumps down, and she films lots of movies, and she likes, um, gets out of swimming pools and commercials, and lots of stuff. She's an actor. Boy, that Shalu really gave you this scripture role. <laughs> she might have, might have caused a little trouble at home, but she gave a good description. <laughs> Lisa, what do you think the word is? That sounds like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is the word, Lisa. The lead is yours. That's, uh, that gives you a point. We play child's play until time is up, and whoever is ahead at that point wins $500 and a chance at $5,000. I'd like to say something now about... Well, my goodness, if this isn't the man who gave me my first job years ago, Mark Goodson. Hello, Mark. Thank you. That's a lovely sweater, Mark. Bill Frank guy came out to replace you. Yeah, oh, my <laughs> God. No. He gave me my first job many years ago, and uh, we've been together, and Mark, it's a pleasure. This is a, I'm, I'm pleased doing this show. It's Thank you. Bill, it's marvelous. And the kids. Uh, uh, yes. Let me tell you why I came out. Uh, these children that you see, you see on tape, and we make these tapes at schools or in our place in New York or out here, and because of the fact that you see them, for example, in a giant screen like this, you see little Shallow who just did Wonder Woman, you don't get a real idea of really how tiny and how little they are. Shallow is not yet seven years of age, yet she's articulate and talks on. 
And we thought you'd like to see what one of these little children looked like actually in person. Uh -huh. So I would like to welcome on our stage little <laughs> Shalou Larry. <laughs> Better. Now you can tell the folks your name. Shalou. Shalou. What school do you go to, Shalou? Christ Lutheran. W what's your favorite subject? Um, going to church because. Um, going to what? Church. Oh, going to because, church. <laughs> um, I got a school that is Christian. Well, that's very nice. And Shalou, you know this man's name over here? Bill Collins. That's, that's right. right. You don't know my name, do you? I don't blame Gene you. Gene Woods. Gene Woods? Yes, I'm Gene Woods. <laughs> Now, Shalou, uh, pretend like you were back with the cameras where we, where we take your picture, and I ask you to give us a description of child's play, but don't use those two words. What would you say, darling? Well, um, little kids describe, like, words and the, all the other um, people that are playing, they have to guess the word and... Um, the um, Bill Collins, he tells them who, if they win or not. That's very, very good. Good. <laughs> very good. Very good. But, 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 uh, Bill? Thank you, Mark Goodson and his friend Shalou Larius. Thank you, Shalou. We'll all be back in just a moment. Right now, we have a word for you. You know, it is amazing. It is amazing to see how those tiny kids, as Mark said, can have all that information. Okay, we got more tiny kids and we have new words, and this time we're going to begin with you now, Craig. Uh, let's show the people at home the word you're going to be playing for. Okay, everybody at home knows what the word is, and here in our studio, please. Here comes the first description by David Goldstein, seven years old, from Los Angeles. David, please. It's like somebody like the devil. He's real mean. He puts curses on people. He puts them in boiling hot water and melts them. Or he sticks them in the, in the, t in the rear end with this stick with three horns on it. Like his head. Based on the information you just heard, Craig, what do you think the word is? Kind of like a devil. I would say that it would have to be demon. No, not demon, although the guess is understandable. You get a chance to listen now, Lisa, because this description is for you. Christopher Roach, nine years old from Los Angeles, has it for you. Christopher. It's a bad thing. Like, some people said, say the devil's it. And it's like, some people are going to, like, witches, they say, are like, go, hee, 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 and stuff like that. And like, Dungeons and warlocks and dragons are that. <coughs> some people would say. <laughs> and sometimes people say that that's like devil worshippers or something. They're that. All right. Based on that, Lisa, we ask you to come up with a word. Could that be Satan? No, it is not Satan. Last chance, and it's yours, Craig. This time, the same word. This is the way we gave it to the kids, and this is the way they describe it. Anastasia Amador, nine, from Los Angeles. Anastasia. It's another word, you know, that um, they use in the Bible to describe um, something that's very bad, worse than bad, worse than worse, worse than worst. <laughs> It's about as worst as you can get, I guess. What do you think it is, Craig? Well, with the accumulation of all the clues there, I would say it's evil. Evil is the right answer, right. Craig. Good job. A good job. The, the kids seem to think of the personification of evil, you see, with the, the Satan, the horns, and the, 
the, the bad doers in general. It's all tied up at one to one. Lisa, we're going to begin this one with you, so listen. First, the audience at home will have a look at this one. Okay, there's the word, and here's another old friend of ours, Tata Amari, seven from Los Angeles, her description of this word. Yeah, she's a person who gives you, she, buy, she makes you cookies, and she's nice, and, 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 and sometimes she gives you money to get something for her at the store or something, and, and sometimes you, and her, on her birthday you can bake her a cake, or give her a nice present. Well, even though she's old, she's nice, <laughs> she's loving, and she's sweet. Isn't that nice? All right. Stephen Mark, I will repeat any of the clue. Uh, Lisa, what do you think that word is? Well, I hope I'm like that when I'm old and I'm a grandmother. Grandmother is the word, Lisa. That's it. <laughs> Amazing. Just to show you the way kids think about their grandmothers, before we go on to the next word, we'd like to show you another child. This is Shalu Larius. Little girl just left here. Remember Shalu? This is the way Shalu, when we asked her, described her grandmother. She is somebody who I love very much, and she, um, she buys me stuff and clothes, and, um, she has, and she's my mom, not my mom. And <laughs> she's just somebody who loves me very much, and I love her. And um, it's fun to be with her because she plays with me sometimes. And she is about 50 years old, and she um, perhaps like she is, has gray hair, and she sometimes wears a bandana in her hair. And she looks very pretty, because I think so, because she's my... Oh. She's my grandmother. Very well. You know what, by this time, what that little oops means. Shalu Larios. Well, it's been nice having Shalu in person and uh, on tape with us today. Little oops you see over the mouth means that the word has been said as I mentioned before. Hey, Lisa, the score is two for one, uh, two for you, and one for you, Craig. When we come back to Child's Play, we'll shift gears, play the game for speed in the fast play round, and we'll be back to do that right after this word, please. In here. <laughs> okay. Lisa, two points. Craig, one point, and it's time now for Fast Play. We're going to show you a series of children. Each child will define a different word. As soon as either of you recognize the word, interrupt with your signal. In Fast Play, we double the points. for So from now on, each right answer worth two points. When you hear this school bell, that means time is up, and whoever is ahead wins the game, 500 bucks and a chance at 5,000. Ready to interrupt? Here comes the first word, Katie Pulley. Describes it for you. Katie. Sometimes little girls put their dollies in it and... Lisa's first. Dollhouse? Nope. That's a wrong answer, so Craig, you have the chance to hear the rest of the description and then you can give us an answer. Katie, continue, please. Rock them to sleep and sometimes they feed them in, in their little... It, they're like little beds. And, and they rock. That's as much as you're going to get from Katie? What do you think, Craig? Crib. Nope. Cradle. 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 You see, a cradle rocks. A crib doesn't, except in certain parts of California at certain times. <laughs> so a crib doesn't necessarily would be a better way of putting it. Both of you ready now, please, to interrupt. Here's Christy H Holland with the next one. Christy. It's something that gets in your hair that you have to scratch. What do you think it is, Lisa? I don't know. Gum? Nope. Hey, break for you again, Craig. You can pull ahead. Here's the rest of the description. You can move ahead. Christy, please. Or, and you get shampoo for it or conditioner, and the conditioner or shampoo will take it out, your hair. What do you think it is this time, Craig? It's got to be dandruff. It is dandruff, Craig. You, there you go. Double points. You lead three to two. Here comes both of you ready. Here comes the next word, and it's defined by Edward Hurst. Edward. On 4th of July, you light it. Lisa's first. Fireworks? Fireworks is right. Fireworks is what you like. A firecracker. Four to three is the score. Another word coming up. This time it's Brock Lunsford. Brock, please. 
it's a dangerous sport. And like, there's a ball and it's usually thrown. It's Lisa first again. Hockey? Nope. Oh boy, you get a break here, Craig, to move ahead. Listen to the rest of the description, then you get a guess. Okay, Rock. Round, and people usually tackle each other in this. And they wear helmets, and, they're, and there's teams like the Rams and <laughs> USC and stuff like that. Stuff like that. What do you think it is, Craig? Football. Football is the right answer. <laughs> All right. Possible tiebreaker again. And this word will be described by Lisa Green. Lisa. It can be a road that's divided up like this or the kind you eat with, which has, the kind you eat with has four Lisa. Fork. Fork is the right answer, and you move ahead six to five. Chance for you to move ahead, Craig. Here comes the next word. Jennifer Lassard has it. Jennifer. Well, it's a girl that was... That was blonde hair, and um, went to the Three Bears house. Lisa. Goldilocks. Goldilocks is the right answer, the blonde kid. That's it, Lisa. Time's up. You're the winner again. Come on over here and join me. Congratulations. Well, you're going to be an old hand at this. Congratulations, champ. Thank you. Nicely done. Craig Rooks, you played a good game over there. You ran into some bad luck. We have some nice prizes for you. And thanks to all of us. Thank Charles you. I had a good time. Thank you, Craig. Well, congratulations again. What do you got now? 6,000? 6,200. You just added five, so you're working on 6,700. When we be back, uh, when we get back, we're going to give you a chance at triple play, and you can add 5,000 to that. We'll give you that chance right after this for you. What I love. Okay, you got the 500 bucks. Now, Lisa, working on 6,700 dollars. Time for you now to. Try for 5,000 in our triple play game. Now, as you know, we asked our Child's Play kids to write brief definitions this time of simple words. And then we took three definitions of word, each written by a different child, A, B, or C. And you have a total of 45 seconds to get all six of them. We give you 100 bucks a word, and if you get them all, of course, you get the bundle, which is another 5,000. Good luck. Thank you. Hope we do it again. Bring Always. in the clock. Time will start when you pick your first letter. A. It is a round object. It is white. B. A game that you need nine people in. C. A sport that you use with a bat and a ball. Baseball. That's one. A. Not human. Worked by an engine. Machine. B. Moves like a human, but is Robot. not. Robot. A. Correct. Like candy or something sweet. Chocolate. Take another. B. You get candy from someone, then you say thank you. C. You get it at Halloween. A. Next word. Next word, please. Make somebody bored by saying something. Repeat. Nope. Take B. another. When my mom tells me things over and over again. C. An old horse. A nag. Right. A. It is brown and has a funny shape. Time is up. Oh, well, you were going along fine. And then you got one that turned out to be tough for you. It was like candy or something sweet. And this is like when someone buys you something. And the definitive clue, I thought, treat. The thing like what you get on Halloween is right. a treat. And the brown thing with a funny shape, we never got to finish that. That was a pretzel. Oh. Or it could <laughs> describe many of my friends. But that's not important. The, the, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. The important thing is at this moment is that you're still here and you're still eligible to run your winnings up. You have thus far picked up 67 plus 3 at $100 a word. So you now have $7,000. Oh, that's great. Next time take on a new challenger, probably have a shot at another 5,000. We'll be back and give Lisa that chance right after this, okay? Right. You know, Lisa, it's like they say in, in sports, you're, you're running along doing very well, and then all of a sudden you hit a snag. One word will give you trouble and it knocks off the momentum. Right. A much overused word. You have 7,000. What's the old man's name again? David. I thought, and the kids? Brian and Jeffrey. And my name, friends, is George. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're going to have Lisa back here with us next time when we pick it up right here and give her a chance to add another $5,500 to the $7,000 she has already won. So be sure to join us. Oh, if you like kids, you'll love Child's Play, right? Right on. Bye. <laughs>